Okay, we've done two out of three now. The last one shows up for administrators and super members, folks that are already have already upgraded their accounts. So I'll make a new line and say if underscore in underscore group equals. Now which groups do we target? Head on back to the user group screen and I want to target administrators, super moderators, and super members. These are all people that do not need to upgrade their accounts. So that's IDs 2, 3, and 4. So I'm going to say 2-4. By the way, if you want to learn more about the syntax, the 5 plus, the 2-4, this is a syntax called OC filter. And you can learn all about this on our website. Just go to ocportal.com, click support, click tutorials, and under advanced configuration we have this tutorial filtering using OC filter. And this tutorial runs you through the basics of here's the acceptable syntax. So here's the example that I showed you about and there's a couple others. Okay, back to reality. So now we've got our just our administrators and super members targeted. So we've got that done. Close that off and we can just say We'll do this similar to above. Let's just say hello, bold, username. It's great to see you again. And close off the if in group. And we're done. Come on down and click save. Hello admin, it's great to see you again. So it's working for the administrator. Let's test it out for normal member accounts. Now by default, OC Portal comes with a member named Test, and he's part of the standard member group. And this is so that you can test your website. So what you can do is come on down to the SU box and type in here Test. And this is actually the name of one of your, the members of your website. You can actually see him here in the point leaderboard. So Test has just logged in and it shows him a little message asking him to please consider upgrading his account. So as you can see, it's a pretty simple way to present different information to different members of your website. I'm going to show you another example. Instead of just showing different little message boxes to different members, you can also use this to restrict privileges. Now typically to restrict a privilege to say to you know, the entire galleries module, you, you'll definitely do that through the admin zone. We have the permissions tree editor which is good for restricting access to these things whole modules but if you just want to restrict something like this for instance this little shout box all you need to do is edit this panel which is a com code page just like this is and add an if in group tag just put it around the shout box so let me show you that real quick scroll on down click edit in zone editor click the edit tab and right here is our shout box it's the second line so all I have to do is right before it, just click and say open bracket if in group equals 2-4. And this way it just targets administrators and super members and super moderators. Those will be the only folks allowed to access the shout box. And after the shout box, I can add a new line here and say slash if in group. So just these two little lines here. Let's come on down and save it and give it a test. For the administrator, he sees the shout box and he can he can interact with it. But if someone's let's say test, someone's logged in as a normal member, look at this, they see nothing. It's pretty cool. So we can close this tab. Let's try guess guessed. So if someone's not logged in at all, they also don't see it. So this way it's a, you can make the shout box a privileged feature just for folks who pay to get access to the site or, you know, however you want to set things up. The neat thing about the if in group tag is that it runs with com code. So anywhere on the website that you see a com code interface, you can use this. So a neat little clever idea of how you can use this is for your signature on the forums. So check this out. If you go to the personal zone, edit your signature. Right now I don't have a signature, but I can set up my signature so that at the end of all my posts, if someone is in the group, 
of, I'm going to say 5 plus. I can show you again. 5 and up is everyone who's not a guest, not a super member, not an administrator, just a normal member of the website. That's 5 and up. So if they're a normal member of the website, I can say, not yet a super member. Please support our site and get great benefits. I'll say, I'll give them a link to the purchase module. Page equals site colon purchase. And again, you can also use this page wizard. And I'll make the caption learn more. Do a slash page, close off the link, and slash if in group. So I'm going to save my changes. And let's see what it looks like. Let's head over to the forums. Look at the sample news post that I've made earlier today. Now this is just a standard post in the forums that I composed. And as you can see for me, I don't see any signature here. But let's check it out with test, and we're going to use the SU feature again. Now, forums use the wide theme by default, which means they don't have these side panels. So there's no way to click to use the SU feature, at least not from the forums. So you can either head all the way back to your site zone and use the SU feature and come back here, or since I'm already where I want to be, I can just mess with the URL up here, and that's a great way to do it. All you need to do is click the URL, Make sure that you're typing before any of the pound signs, which usually come at the end. So before this, just add a new ampersand, and I'm going to say keep underscore su equals test. Hit enter. And now all of a sudden it's reloaded the whole page, but with me as test. So it, it's showing everything as the same way test would see it. And so if test were to view the same sample news post, he'd see my little invitation to join the site and get great benefits. Now one thing I feel compelled to point out is that this if in group tag is not a great way to share private information with each other. And the reason for that is that com code is generally accessible. And I'm going to show you an example of this. I'm going to click back and you'll notice the sample news post for the administrator or super members they see a little message as part of this news post that they're going to have exclusive access. And I set that up with an if in group tag so that normal members don't see that little paragraph at the end. The problem with that approach is that if Test were to come on down and quote this news post, well, of course, he'll see all the original com code that I used. And if he scrolls down, he'll notice, uh-oh, super members have access for a private club. This is just the nature of com code, which means if in group is not a great way to share private information around. If you want to do that, there's lots of great ways to do that with using the staff forums, a private forum, or if you want to contact someone directly, you can click whisper or open a personal topic with them. So I just wanted to mention that so you don't go out and sharing all your trade secrets using if in group. It's best used just as a navigation aid or in certain cases like on the front page with that shout box, it worked really nicely. So I hope that gave you a few ideas for ways to use the if in group tag. This is just one example of a very, very cool com code tag that OC Portal has. There's loads more like it that we're going to cover with future tutorials, but if you can't wait, check out the written tutorials and documentation we have on the website. You'll find loads of very cool com code tags just like this one that have tremendous possibilities. Until next time, I'm Alan Ellis with OC Portal. Thanks for watching.